using WebAssembly and system libraries. In this section, we're going to be looking at how Scripten and WebAssembly both work together to provide you system library access. We'll start with a video on interacting with system libraries, this one. We'll then move on to handling input and output, talk about file systems and how they interact in the browser. We'll then learn how to tell time through WebAssembly. We'll perform in parallel by threading in our next video. And then finally, we're going to look at socket communication and how to communicate with other programs over the network. This video sets the stage so that you can understand how WebAssembly and Mscripten provide you standard system libraries. Most native executables link against a standard library, libc, libc++, or any of their derivatives. These libraries provide you access to functions that interact with hardware, file systems, or operating systems. We can't use those in the web browser. So instead, Mscripten provides an implementation of libc and libc++ to replace those system libraries at link time without you having to do anything. This provides a POSIX-like API that you can depend on in WebAssembly and in Mscripten. Some parts of that standard library implementation are done in WebAssembly, others are done in JavaScript. Let's go take a look at the Mscripten source code to see how this works. I'm at the Mscripten repository on GitHub, and we're looking at the Mscripten source code. We're going to find out just where Mscripten looks when you do things such as pound include system libraries. So in the source code, I'm going to look at this system folder. I'm going to go to the include folder, and then I'm going to scroll down and you will see libc and libcxx right here. Let's look at libc. Inside libc, you find all the headers that you may be familiar with. Let's go down to stdio. When we go look at the source code there, You'll notice it looks very familiar to what you might find on a native system. However, now we have these preprocessor flags that tell us that we are in an Mscripten setting. Right here, we're pulling in something called WASI and the API.h from there. WASI is the WebAssembly system interface, and you'll also find that in this repository. If I scroll down a little bit, if you direct your attention to line 40, you can see that parts of the API of these files has actually changed depending on if we're in Mscripten or not. This is how Mscripten can provide you its own libc and libcxx. Let's go take a look at libcxx while we're here. So we'll scroll back up, we'll go to system, and we're going to look at the lib folder to see the implementations of these headers. We scroll down to libcxx. And here we can see the C++ code that will be used as part of our system library. All of the C++ code will get compiled to WebAssembly. We can go look at, let's say, futures in C++, and we see a complete futures implementation. So, to recap, Mscripten ships with its own libc and libc++ that have been slightly tweaked to provide you what you need in the web browser because the web browser can't just go access a file system on the user's computer. It has to do something a little bit different. We'll see more of that in the next section.